right guys, if last week I review Toyota GR Yaris, today is time for Toyota Yaris GR Sport. And I will explain you in this video as we drive and also I will try to explain you before we start driving the difference between them. So if Toyota GR Yaris come in two doors, stronger and powerful engine, also a stiffer body and suspension and much more aerodynamic and much more aggressive, now this Toyota Yaris GR Sport it's somewhere between normal Yaris and GR Yaris so it's somewhere between them in terms of sportiness in terms of comfort they have a little bit from both worlds so in this way they combine and they make the perfect car and I think for me this is the perfect Yaris this Toyota Yaris GR Sport is the perfect because you have different suspension it comes with stiffer suspension they work on them they make it much more aggressive and much more sportier they make the body much more stiffer they work on the body and to be better in handlings in curves and stuff like that and also it comes with the interior of the gr and the exterior and exterior is beautiful guys check out the review video there i show you interior exterior there you can see more detail in this video it's all about test driving we will drive the car we will see how it's on the road but overall a great 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 car now let me give you some technical data information about the car and then we will start driving i don't want to lose too much time now before that if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out emil frey in bern i will leave the link in the description so you can buy the car see the car test drive the car check them out guys also here we have the toyota yaris gr sport it's a full hybrid system that means it comes also with an electric motor and a petrol engine so together combined will make a power of 116 horsepower also it has a battery a small battery so when you press the brake when you go downhill and sometimes the battery will recharge and then you can drive also only in electric mode at low speed or cruising or sometimes when the car is choosing that also i will show you later in the review video down there you can change some different driving modes the price of the car the car of course come with cvt transmission as you probably know no gearbox the starting price is 29,700 francs this is the basis price but with all this optional included that i will show you in the review video you can check out the review video there you see more information about the head-up display premium sound system parking sensors metallic color and all that stuff the price will go up to 32,140 francs yeah this is the price guys more details in the review video also let's drive the car now i'm really excited let's see how it's on the road and in the end uh, we will make the conclusion all right guys let's drive it here is the key by the way a simple normal key what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car electric folding mirrors the car come with 18 inch wheels also normal brake this on the rear end ventilated brake this on the front beautiful rims with red insertion for more detail check out the full review i will have a separate video interior exterior with the same car so check that out guys now let's drive the car going inside good quality also on the doors if you close the door you can see that the quality it's quite quite good we have the gr here at the entrance aluminium pedal even the carpet it's gr we have leather combination with stuff material in the middle here very very good quality i like it very much and also i like this gr logo here on the seats but more about that check out the full review video i will have a separate video guys full review interior exterior with the same car probably it's already there check it out Go inside the car also the sound insulation it's quite good like on the normal yaris as well press the brake this is the start stop engine with gr on also a nice gr logo come on the screen there we have a head-up display beautiful head-up display directly on the windshield it looks really really good i didn't expect to be so good climatic system work also great here you can control it very simple with physical button here also we have electric brake auto hold drive different driving mode ev mode you can also put it in ev mode you have kind of a free driving mode normal power and echo mode we will drive in all three so we can see how it's handling we will reset the consumption so we will see also the consumption and also here is the navigation the new navigation system i have a separate video on my channel with it if you want to see it check it out guys it's already on the channel more about those kind of info you will find it also in the full review video good visibility in this mirror big mirror up here great visibility in the window in the back there good visibility on the side mirrors 
let's drive it anyway the car come also with a reverse camera the resolution is quite fine not the best but quite fine uh, you have driving d mode normal driving and b mode it's when the car will regenerate more energy so for example you accelerate you left the foot out of the brake and then the car will regenerate a little bit of uh, energy back in the battery so because it's a full uh, hybrid that means you have also an electric motor that will help the petrol engine uh, to, to keep the speed and sometimes, for example, uh, the car can drive only in electric mode at low speed or you, when you go downhill or in certain situation when you're coasting, for example. Right now the climatic system is on, as you can see, at 70 degrees, so we will see the consumption as well. Also, the car come with improved suspension. They make it a little bit more stiffer. Also, they uh, improve the body stiffness. They make the car much more stiffer. Uh, that mean better handlings in the corners, better sporty performance. And also, um, yeah, much fun to drive car. Also, I'm pretty, pretty impressed how silent it's, it's inside the cabin. 18 inch rims feel just perfect on the car. Wow, the stability on the ground, it's impressive. I think this is the perfect combination between a normal Yaris or a GR Yaris. It's just Yaris GR Sport. It's somewhere between those if you want to have fun and have a nice sporty car with some nice performance and stiffer body um, and sporty feeling. I think this is the perfect one. And the suspension are incredible. I mean, they feel really, really sporty, really good. They are super stiffer so you can feel every little uh, bump. in curve stays really really good the feeling it's really special it feels like a proper sporty car and right now we are in echo mode guys we can change also the driving mode the car come also with lane assist adaptive cruise control you can set it up from here so you can set the speed for example very simple and the car will hold the speed will hold between the lanes perfect driving position I like very much those seats I feel like I'm sitting really really good on those seats also we can change from here the different driving mode we can go in power mode right now and if you are in power mode and you accelerate a little bit you can also feel a little bit of and we go uphill right now you can feel a little bit of punch of course it's not a proper GR Yaris uh, because 116 horsepower is not a super powerful sporty car but I think it's more than enough for this car weight the weight is not so much and I think it's more than enough and even when you go uphill you can see that it really have some punchy so I guess it's more than enough it has the CVT transmission guys, 1.5 liter petrol engine. 
brakes and pedal feel lovely. Good quality on the pedals as well. The steering wheel is quite sporty and stiffer. It feels quite good. Uh, and also the ground, the way it sticks to the ground, it feels really good. I mean, the fact that they make the body stiffer and they, they work on suspension a little bit, they change it, they improve it. Um, it's, it's incredible fun to drive. Oh yeah. And surprisingly, it has a little bit of punch. So you can feel that punchy uh, feeling when you accelerate. That's really cool. Really, really nice. Also, when you need to pass by a car, you have enough power. It's really, really nice to drive. Also, you have a nice armrest. It's perfect. The position is really good here. As you drive, I have a perfect driving position here. Climatic system works really well. Consumption until now 7.1 liter, but we were going uphill. The climatic system was on. We are now in power mode. We can change the mode. We can go in echo mode so as to save some uh, battery and energy. Now we go downhill. Six point five liter right now. We go downhill, so the consumption go also down. And the climatic system it's still on. We can also turn it on a little bit more to see in the end. But very smooth, I'm super impressed with the sound insulation, visibility, it's, it's although anyway very good, as you probably know from the normal Yaris. Right now we are in echo mode, but I feel like the car have enough power. Here in curves, the car is doing great. So it was a little bit of traffic here guys so I stopped uh, the video for a while but now I turn it on. The same 5.8 liter consumption around there uh, with the climatic system on and uh, working pretty hard. Um, yeah it's pretty nice to be here also the car come with auto hold function so you don't have to hold the foot on the brake uh, great visibility in the head-up display i don't know if you can see it there but um, it looks really nice and it's directly on the windscreen um, perfect perfect now we are still in echo mode now we are in normal mode also the car will regenerate some energy now when you go downhill when you are in B mode if you go back to drive mode then the car will be in normal anyway pretty nice also very easy to uh, reach out all this physical button here on the steering wheel here down uh, the, the steering wheel has a great grip great quality uh, leather I don't know it feels really nice it feels nimble it feels light this car and I think it's, it's 
it's the best I should say it's the best sporty car in this class with an incredible reliable engine so this this engine 1.5 liter petrol engine with a hybrid system Toyota has so much experience through the years with those hybrid systems they were the first and you should not be worried uh, in terms of real reliability in time I mean it's really reliable blind spot technology in the corner there you can see it very good comfort on the seats they are perfectly and also not only that they are sporty but they are super comfortable I think for daily uses you can use it without any problem uphill right now so you can hear the transmission the CVT transmission Six point four liter consumption until now because we were up. Now we go downhill, so we will see also the consumption in the end. Usually, normal Yaris, uh, it has an amazing consumption and also the shape of the car. It's great. Right now we go in B mode, and the car will regenerate more energy as we go down and the energy will go back in the battery this is a great great system so B mode is for more regenerative brake Also good visibility in this new multimedia system, it's great positioned right there over the dashboard, it's perfect, I mean you just have to look up a little bit and then you see it, it's just perfect. 5.8, 5.7 liter consumption right now, climatic system on, almost reach out the destination and we are driving in normal mode right now, even not in echo.
stays really good on those curves. You can feel how, how nice it stick to the ground. It should be so much fun to drive it on the mountains, you know, going up on the mountains and drive it. Uh, I think it will be incredible fun. And also here on those curves, the brakes are great. Great brakes. It's a nice feeling. I drive also the GR Yaris and it was much more sportier, much more aggressive. This is a great combination, you know, like you want to drive a uh, daily driver and also have some fun with it. And it has that um, stiffness for a sporty car, like a sporty car. Also automatic high beam, LED light, full LED lights, more information about the car interior exterior you will find out in the full review. I will have a separate video, full review interior exterior. There you can see everything about the car. Um, you will find out more details about material quality, interior, exterior um, and stuff like that. Too bad that I didn't have the chance to drive it more sporty, more aggressive a lot of traffic today and also the speed limit it's super limited here in in switzerland so you cannot have some fun like a proper you should you should uh, with this car but overall a very very nice car very well built visibility good suspension great for a sporty car stiffer perfect uh, steering and direction very good consumption 6 5.6 liter you can see until now and i didn't even drive economical can get gorgeous consumption and also the climatic system it's on the transmission it's cvt you know it already it's very good it's like driving an electric car it's just the difference is that it makes some noise sometimes uh, when you accelerate harder you can hear it a little bit the revs i should say but overall good sound insulation small car agile car beautiful car and comfortable For the bump you can feel the stiffness of the suspension so that was the ride guys um, also you already see before that the car come with the reverse camera if you go in reverse you can see the camera there Super easy, it's super agile, simple to park, simple to drive. Electric handbrake, that was the ride guys. I hope you enjoyed 5.6 liter consumption. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ride guys. I hope you get some useful information from this video. Uh, if you want to see the full review interior exterior, you can check out the other video. I will have a separate video with the same car. Also, my rating for this um, Toyota Yaris GR Sport from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 this is my rating it's a good car it's a great car it's almost perfect in terms of sportiness really really good and yeah that was the video if you want to buy it if you want to see it check out Emil Frey in Bern I will leave the link in the description they have a lot of cars great price and great service so guys don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much for watching my video stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys